Hello everybody and welcome back to some more modded Risk of Rain. This is going to be taking over the weekend slot because I've moved um, Noita into the weekly slot. So we're playing a bit of Risk of Rain 2 modded once again. Let's jump on in and see what we can get done. I've downloaded a few additional mods, mainly some new survivors, and I unlocked the captain as well. Uh, I did that, uh, I think, yesterday or the day before. But either way, let's play as Bandit. Bandit's a really, really cool uh, modded hero that basically got added in from the game's files. From what I know, that a lot of this was already complete, but just not released. So, anyway, so let's jump on in. We're playing normal run again. No different artifacts. We're just going with... Um, we're just going with everything as normal and seeing what we can get done. Seeing if we can have ourselves a good run. I've had a little bit of a practice with this character. He seems very, very good. Uh, essentially, he's got this that has a so sort of short reload after a certain amount of time. But any of his abilities reset that reload period. Um, and then he has like a little dynamite that you can throw that explodes and then explodes into more dynamite. Um, he has a sort of invisibility cloak and then kind of like a powerful shot that you can do like that. It's just very good. Very good kit. I very much like it. Uh, I tend to underutilize some of his kit a little bit. Um, mainly his, um, getaway ability, his little cloaking device. But we'll see what we can get done. Also, this character gets their bonus damage when you're closer. That's also quite nice. Okay, let's try and get as much gold as we can get here, as much money. Okay, drop one of these. The one thing I have found, and as you, you kind of just saw it there, it's very hard to hit the uh, the TNT exactly where you want it to go. It's very, very bouncy. It's very, very bouncy indeed. Uh, we should be able to get something from over here now. Let's go take a little look. He's not super mobile, so that's one, one downside he definitely has. I think we're probably going to take the crit glasses here. They, they'd make the most sense to me early on. Uh, bumping our crit chance by 10% is pretty damn good. There you go. First two shots of crits. That's what I mean there. You see that look. I aimed right at that guy and it just bounced right over him. can be very easy to miss your shots sometimes. So let's go and take a look around this way and try and get some chests. See what we can end up getting. But yeah, I found some of the new modded items in the like run I did on my own where I completed the uh, finally unlocked captain. There's some really interesting ones. A legendary that I got makes your equipment have a chance of activating twice, which was just amazing. That was like probably my favorite legendary that I got. Let's hope we can get another first wall legendary as well. That'd be so good. Doesn't happen often, but when it does, it's very nice, very nice. Good thing is as well, this pistol seems to reload like passively as soon as you stop shooting. Okay, so we've got one of these here. We got ourselves, yes, yeah, strange can chance to intoxicate enemies ca causing damage over time. I really like this. And this is a very, very good item. Uh, we'll probably go up top first, actually. I was going to go down below, but we're only going to have to come back around if we want to go up top. So why not go up top and then drop down? Okay. Enemy spawning, of course, very slow right now. We're not playing with multitudes or anything like that. I tested that out a little bit, but for these episodes, I'm not going to play with multitudes. Essentially, that it, it spoofs the game into thinking you're playing with more people than you are. I love the burst damage that this guy has. Just the ability to do that and just take one enemy out super quick. We've got a Luna, uh, little Luna thing up there. We might be able to get a Luna item that could do us some good. There you go. That should take out a lot of those enemies. Good. We'll zoom up. Gives us a bit of a speed boost. So I've been using that just to get around. See what we get here. We've got an active item. Uh, burn everything, including you and your allies. We'll take it. Why not? It's uh, it's definitely a difficult item to use, but if we can use it, I will. We just got to have the healing to sustain it, I think. Okay, so we've got one of these here. And what looks like a little pod there as well. Cool, and a chest there too. Okay, there is some healing there. In fact, I'm just going to take this right off the bat. Why not? Why not? Uh, gasoline's really good here. Let's uh, see what's over here. I haven't seen the teleporter yet. Maybe the teleporter's over there. Maybe we should check out this area first. Doesn't seem to be anything here, actually. Normally, this place is chock-a-block with chests, but I'm not seeing anything. Okay, there must be a few more over this side over here. Unless we're just like on a run we've got very few chests. That's also possible. Let's have a little look-see. There's our teleporter, as I expected. But not too many chests. We've got one. Eh, that's not great. Unfortunately, that doesn't give much healing. It doesn't scale very well. But early game, I suppose it's not bad. Yeah, unfortunately, very low amount of items here. Very low amount of items indeed. 
I will use my Hellfire Tincture here and see if I can get anything going on with that. It's actually doing great damage. Wow, we killed him already. That's insane. Okay, we got Death Mark as well. Death Mark ain't bad. Also, I got a mod that means that the more enemies we kill within the circle... What's going on with our face right now? The more enemies we kill within the circle, within the uh, teleporter range, the faster it charges. Just to make this process a little bit quicker. I like the idea of that. I'm just surprised how little amount of chests we got on this first stage. It's very, very lacking, but hey-ho. I think this guy's underneath here. Yes, he is. Hello. No, it bounced over. God damn it. Gosh darn. He's our Hellfire Tincture again. The good thing is with the um, with the healing that we're getting from the med kit, we're actually healing through the vast majority of the damage from this, which is great. It's basically just free damage. It's nice. No, it bounced again. It's so hard to hit when you're, like, on an incline. Okay, we're, we're good to go here, though. Let's sail away. First floor, good items. Good items. Death Mark, of course, doesn't really help us all that much. It will do a little bit later on, though. Uh, if we can get that to start proccing, that'd be great. We've got a chest here right away. Okay, let's get the hellfire going on. Boom. Boom. It's good. We get the delayed healing coming in. Nice. Get that chest straight away. Nice one. Okay, we got piggy bank and gold over time. That's actually pretty good to get early on. I don't know how much gold that's going to end up being, but I will take it. I've uh, got another chest on top of that rock. I've never seen one spawn up there before. That's an interesting little spawn for a chest there. Let's go grab that. What you got for us? Eh, uh, more fresh meat. I mean, it's better to have more of it, but I'd rather have other items, to be honest. I don't know what's going on with our face, by the way. It's definitely one of the item effects just not working as intended. It's kind of funny. Right, let's look for some more chests over here few chance shrines about as well that's kind of nice we'll get we'll get to those later i tend to take those last or at least later on I, I like to go for guaranteed items before gambling my money away look at that oh the burst damage is absurdly good with this character i love it another one of these over here i never really understood the point in these they give so little money i think we should give a bit more got you boom 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 and boom, boom. Ah, didn't quite get that guy. There you go, got him. Another one of these over here. So it must be that all of our chests are on the other side. Unless we're just getting very low amount of chests. We might might well be that we're just not getting many chests at all. A few enemies there. I can see one over in the distance. Just there, look. Let's go grab that, shall we? Let's go get it. And we got our teleporter over here as well. I, I always find the teleporter spawns exactly there on this stage. It spawns there so often. Right, let's grab this. A leeching seed. That's going to make our uh, tincture a little easier to use because we're going to have more sustain, more healing. I like that. This guy isn't exactly the best with leeching seed, but it'll work. Goodbye, TNT. You actually shoot the TNT into the air and then, um, and then shoot it out of the air. It's actually kind of a cool way to use it. Good. Everything's going down. God damn, it's just so much damage. So much damage. I love it. Right, what we got here? Oh, another leeching seed. Okay, that is that is very good. Very positive start here. Got a lot of money as well, so I'm hoping we find a few more chests around here. Okay, we've got an item um, shop. Actually, got another pe uh, pair of crit glasses here as well. I'll definitely take those. We can get a uh, crit's heal, something like that. That'd be good. Let's go for the yeet of the century. Which are... Oh, I tried. I tried. Good, got you. And we do actually have an active item here. Let's, let's buy this just in case it's something good. 
Solmerang. Uh, nah, I'm actually going to stick with the Tincture. The Solmerang's good, but we'll stick with the Tincture. Um, right, probably about time that we start using our Chance Shrines now. We've got a few of them dotted about here, and it doesn't look like we've got any more actual chests that I can see. Experience over time is nice. And Crowbar, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Good, good. Okay, let's quickly go and um, check on our other Chan Shrines, and then we'll come back. Oh, we got double chest here anyways. Ah, bad. Two very bad items. Do you know what? Heck it. Let's just go. But that's, that, that was unfortunately two just awful items. But here we go. Let's let's get the boss. Who's it going to be? Beetle? Stone Titan. Oh my god. It's absurd how quick you can kill with this thing. I love it. And we got ourselves the kernel as well, which is super good. Good. Grab all of you. Okay, this is this is going well. And we're getting a lot of kills here, which should mean we charge up the teleporter very quickly. Healing wave. Yay. I can say that plant thing is just so bad. <laughs> the healing wave is just it's it's not it's not regular enough. It needs to be way more common. I'd, lo I'd love it to be a lot less healing, but way more common. As it is, it's just not very good. Healing Nerva. Yeah, it's just meh. With teammates, it can be quite good, but on your own, it's never really, never really that influential. Good, good. Boom, boom. And we are good to go, I think. Yes, we are. Nice. This is going good. This is going really good. Not getting as many items as I was expecting, but we're, we're, we're making steady progress here. We're getting through, and we've got we've got some synergistic stuff here as well, so I can't complain about that. Um, we've got another Lunar Pod here. Let's go and see what that's all about. Let's give it a little look-see. Another active item. Um, Rain meters from the sky hurt both enemies and allies. Mm. I kind of want to try that out. Right, let's get let's get a big enemy. There we go. Depends how, like, gathered the meteors are and how much the... I kind of want to find out how much it damages me. Okay, it's not a lot. I, I don't know. I think this is better. I think this is still better. Although the meteors are lasting for... Wow, they're lasting for a long time. Oh my god, they're everywhere. How... What's the cooldown on this? Okay, the cooldown's absurd on that. Yeah, we probably don't want to use that. I was like, it's raining meteors for a long time here. But yeah, the, that's because the cooldown's absurd. Sadly, that cooldown carries over to our tincture. Which is not great. Um, let's go and grab this chest over here. And we'll go and grab that shop over there as well. Okay. Focus crystal. Eh, not super useful for this character, but we do get more damage the closer we are anyway. So that's going to be like a bonus to that, I guess. So I can't complain about that. Hello, stone boy. What we got here? Crowbar, we'll take the crowbar. If we get a crit on our initial hit, it's going to insta-kill, as you just saw. And we've got meat. Is that more meat in there? It is. Meat 3D printer, kind of useless. Oh, wow, we've got like a chain of 3D printers up here. Anything in here? No. Go. Okay, a teddy bear. Really not that... Uh, I mean, it's, it's good, but I don't really want to trade much of what I have, so... Then we've got the barbed wire spike traps, whatever you want to call them. Easy. We are taking a little bit of damage here, but don't worry about it. Definitely... Ooh, actually, I'm going to take Malice. 
Malice is better. Being able to AoE damage enemies is really nice. Is that more crit glasses over there as well? Definitely take those. Ukulele? Yes, we've got some good AoE damage going here. I love that. And crit glasses or more gasoline? Let's go for more crit glasses. This guy's this guy seems to work really well with them. And we'll hop up on the hill here because we didn't actually go on the hill. Boom. Oh, ho, ho. the fact that that can crit as well is so nice. I mean, I didn't doubt that it could, but still. Okay, here's a chest just up here. Not quite got enough for it yet, though, I don't think. Boom. Boom, boom. The double tap. Oh, no, it's only 90. These are cheap chests. Hey, there's a teddy bear as well. Even better. And do we have anything in the tunnel? The tunnel often has a chest or two in it. I'm not seeing anything yet, though. It looks like we just have an, a, a constant angry swarm of bees attacking our face. I kind of love it. I kind of love it. Right, let's jump off. Hello, sir. Jumpy fella. Grab that. Um, trying to see if I can see any chests from up here. I can see one just down there. Boom, boom. Oh, -ho. got you. And we blocked the damage with Teddy Bear as well. Even better. I just want to check back over here. Because there could be something just around here. There's, there's our lockbox look. Hopefully that gives us something good. Hello, sir. What are you doing? Oh, yes, we got this again. Can't incinerate for gold. I like the idea of that. Ukulele helping us out massively here. Nothing else over this way. So we've probably got one or two more chests available. Boom, boom, boom. I love the pistol on this guy. It's so satisfying to use. Okay, we've got another chest there that I didn't see earlier. Got a big chest down there. And that's going to give us... Eh, I'll take one personal shield generator. I don't mind having one. But generally not that good. Um, yes, Bandali is great on this guy. Being able to use our abilities more often is something I can get behind. We'll take sticky bombs here. I'm hoping we get some ukulele procs. There you go. And I think this is going to be our last run around this area before we go to the teleporter. I just want to do a quick sweep. But I'm going to get that last chest and then we'll go for the teleporter. There's only one more. That I can see at least. I don't know how I missed that chest earlier actually. I did look over the edge over here. Walked right past it. But it could have a legendary in it. So we can't leave it. Oh, we got another active ability there as well. Why not grab that? See if we get something cool. Sadly, no, we didn't. This is kind of crap. I don't really like this item. Using trench chance shrines. If we fail on them, we get better crit chance. I'm not really that bothered about that. Because the thing is, I'm going to be using them until they pay out anyways, for the most part. Either that, or I'm already going to have relatively high crit chance, so... Either way, it's not super useful. But, we move over to our teleporter. And we take them out with the bell. With the tincture, whatever you want to call it. Looks like a bell to me. And we will demolish... Who, who dares fight us? How dare you? Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. That was close. I don't know what hit us then for such high damage, but it hit us for high damage. We're good, though. We're good. I just, I was a little close when he started doing his sucky sucky ability. What we got here? Hey, we got the gold gun. More gold equals more damage. Love it. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 and boom. Okay, we're almost done on this as well, about halfway. Hello, sir. What are you doing down there, little Lemarian? Little Le Lemarian fella. Yeah, we have to be careful using our tincture. We kind of need more healing sustain to make that more viable. At the minute, it's, it's usable, but it's not a good idea. 
If we get hit by anything while it's ongoing, it's kind of like there's a good chance we might die. Boom. I love doing that. Oh, beautiful. And we are pretty much good to go. Hello, sir. Pretty much good to go. The Colonel's definitely helping us um, heal through a lot of the damage. But not all the way. Right, what stage are we coming to here? Hey, we come to the Sun Grove. Apparently, this is just a new a new um, area that, that was added in an update that I never saw. It's very cool. I very much like it. Not you. Ooh, this guy needs taking out. Okay. Can I see any chests on surface level here? This area is very, very hard to navigate. As I learned last time, it's very hard to find your chest. It's very hard to just find your way around. Let's uh, keep going. We're on very hard at the minute, so we're not super high in difficulty yet. There's one. Ooh, I almost fell down that hole. Not quite got enough of this yet. Now I do. Hey, tri-tip's pretty good. I'll take a tri-tip. Don't know what's down there. Oh. Boom! <laughs> Knocked him out of the sky. Boom, got you. Make our way away from here. I love the um the, the R ability that fires that really powerful shot. Hey, we got something good there. So we got Bottle of hot sauce, a punching glove, which we can actually read the description of if we're, if we're careful. Six times a chance to knock back an enemy based on fraction of health removed. I'm going to go for the hot sauce bottle, I think. Activating your equipment and knights nearby enemies. I mean, that's kind of good because we already do that. Um, but probably would have been better to go for the ATG missile. Oh, well. I want to try new things. I couldn't remember. I had seen it before, but I couldn't remember what it did. So I wanted to re-pick it up and just find out. Okay. Let's get over here real quick and see, see what we can see off the edge. Okay, another one of them down there, actually. Damn, how did that miss? Okay, let's jump down here. Got a few chests this way. Ooh, hello. Crits heal. Crits heal, I see you. I see you, Crits Heal. We've got Jetpack as well. And question mark. Crits Heal is definitely the way to go here, though. 100%. We are getting about a third of our shot to critting. Just a little more, maybe. A 36% chance now, so I feel like that works out. Okay, not quite enough for that yet. Oh, hello. Where did you come from, sir? Wow, that was a lot of money from that guy. And a little bit of healing here. Not a great amount, but hey ho. Damn, that missed. But that did not. Okay, grab that. Another one of those? Yeah, I'm not going to complain too much about that. They're, they're not terrible anymore. They used to be a lot worse. They did get a buff, but they're still not great. They're still one of the lower tier items, I'd say. Oh, hello, sir. We are. I just love that. The, the burst damage of this guy is just absurdly good. I will continue to open up these active uh, item... Oh my god. Hello. These active item pods in case we get something new that's really good. Um, heal for a percentage of damage you take. That would be good if we could carry it with this active item, but on its own, it's not great. I feel like the healing ones aren't really necessary. Because normally when you die in this game, it's to massive burst damage rather than um, slow damage over time, like people slowly whittling away your health. Normally, if you're going to die, you don't have time to press heal. So later on, especially, heals don't really matter all that much. Grab that. Go Hoof is great here. We don't have a lot of mobility, so I'm happy to have that. Good. Another chest here that I didn't see. Why are all these bloody dudes on me? Got 
you. Got you. Okay. Let's try and make our way up this tree a little bit. There's normally chests hidden away up here. Hello. Hidden away along these branches. Here, there, and everywhere. There's one over there, look. Yeah, we, 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 we have no vertical movement as this guy either. I kind of didn't really think about that. Not something I've really thought about it before. Ow. I'm just going to make my way up onto this platform here because this could have something on it. It might even lead us up a little bit further as well. Hello, Mushroom Dude. It did have one thing on it, technically. Oh my god. That enemy spawned in the worst possible place. Okay, damn. Missed that. I'm going to go over to this chest over here. I see a chest down there as well. I don't know where our teleporter is. I'm going to guess it's down on that lower level. We got ourselves some fireworks. Fireworks aren't bad. Later on, they get a bit, more, get a bit better. But right now, they're not amazing. <laughs> With just one level of it as well. Move and attack faster. Sounds great to me. Okay, let's head our way down here, shall we? Not much going on around this side. Anything going on around here? There's a 3D printer. Oh, oh, that's a rock. I was like, is that a chest? No, it's a rock. There's a little, a little Lemarian over there as well. I see you. Oh, this guy's about. Bested him down. Good. Are you making your way over now? Not quite, actually. Uh, 3D printer's not super necessary here. I kind of like all the items we've got going on. I'm going to take this guy out because they can just insta-kill you. And then look for our last few chests. Yep, there he is. There's the teleport. I, I, the, the three times I've played the stage and it's always been down here. I don't know if that's a consistent thing. Chance to spawn a void orb on hit. Decent enough. Got you. Don't know how good the void orbs actually are, but it's nice to have them spawning, I guess. And I think we're pretty much done with this area now, unless there's some chests over this side. I haven't seen. But there's one of those void orbs. Yeah, I think we're pretty much done here. Let's grab this and go. Apparently there's a hidden chest on this stage as well that I've not found. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I'm more scared about the enemies on the ground level than I am about the boss, to be honest. Apart from when he does that. There you go. I'm going to say the boss is actually kind of a wimp. And we get ourselves standing still. Uh, Watch Metronome's really not that good. I'm not big into it. In fact, it kind of throws me off a little bit when I stand still and then start speeding around the place. It does increase your fire rate, though, I think. Or at least it feels like it does. These Void Orbs going crazy. Thank you, Void Orb. I love you. Imagine if it killed me then. <laughs> I went to sudden it and I'm like, thank you. And just died. I heard this guy spawn and tried to throw my TNT at him in reaction, but didn't quite get him. Boom. Okay, we're about ready to go. A few more mushroomy boys to send us off. Thank you, thank you. Ooh, he almost got me there. Thank you, thank you. Goodbye, TNT. Not too many chests this stage. No legendaries yet either. I'm really hoping we get some of those soon. Very much hoping so. Ooh, some chests early on. Magma worm over there. What we got here? Another hot sauce bottle. We got this as well. That's the standing still gives us crit bonus, I think. Something like that. Yeah. Let's chill around here for now because we got we got some stuff around here. We've got three chests. Well, one shop, two chests to open. Uh, might want to go and bring the worm over though, if I can. What the hell? That, that void all went really far and hit this guy. Boom. You're done now. 
Kind of want to get this first. I think I want the wax quail just for the movement. Movement is something that we don't really have a lot of right now. Hey, worm. How you doing, buddy? He's on his way over. Here he is. Yeah, I don't want to use my, um, my tincture yet, I don't think. Let's take care of this guy. He's actually more of a pain than the boss is, surprisingly. Magma Worm's really not too bad unless he jumps up right on top of you. There you go. Oh, right, okay. Kill a Magma Worm in a single run. Cool. Let's grab that. Oh, hello. You teleported away from my big DPS. I always forget these guys teleport. Grab that. Bit of armor plating. Not that good late on, but hey ho. Hey ho, but now we've at least got some movement. Oh, that was a turret. That was a waste of money. I thought it was a chest. Yeah, let's keep going. And get you. Okay, let's kind of loot this side of the map first. We do have a big chest over there by the looks of things. This guy will give us a good amount of uh, money, so I might as well kill him first. And you. There's void orbs everywhere right now. It's kind of great. But yeah, now we can actually kind of zoom around a little bit. Oh, I thought there was a big chest. It's just a small one. But our lockbox is here, though. Kind of hard to find the lockbox on the stage. Wow, we have a lot of these meats. Wasn't expecting to have quite so much of that. Ooh, that's a big boy. He's stuck in the little uh, air pocket as well. It's kind of funny. Good, good. Our turret's getting pummeled by something. I don't quite know what. Um, increased damage and attack speed. Do you know what? Let's let's give that a go. This the the tincture's getting a little too dangerous to use effectively. Oh yeah, that's that feels brilliant. I love that. I love that. It's only a short boost, but my god, it kills fast. Um, no point in activating that yet. You should be dead for- Oh, you got hit by one of the rocks. It's kind of funny. Okay, got a chest here. Ooh, some sprint speed. Could maybe go for that. Yeah, now that I've just got that, I'm definitely going to go for that. Let's go. One, two, three. There you go. What, what's this 3D printer? Oh, no! I hate that that can happen. It's the worst. So, a piggy bank 3D printer and money over time. I don't really care about that all too much. Good. I think we were uh, proccing Deathmark now as well, by the looks of things. Uh, what's this? I do not know. I kind of want to get it, but I also want the ring. These two are just chilling up here. Look, they're completely stuck. I will grab it. Let's try it out. Uh, drop mines when taking... Eh, that's not great. Unless the mines are insanely good. Yeah, he's deathmark now. Okay, good. We're actually proccing deathmark pretty, pretty rapidly now. Okay, let's check for chests up here. There's normally quite a few up here. Hello, sir. I kind of love the fact that this guy's like, oh, the Holy Spirit. No, Holy Spirit, stay in your, stay in your zone, sir. Stay in your zone. Stay in your zone, Holy Spirit. Oh, really? He just teleported away from that uh, TNT then. That was kind of, that was kind of amazing. I just want to kill him for the money. There you go. I mean, get him out, getting him out of the way as well is also quite nice. Got you. Nice. Okay, take out a lot of them then. Quickly jump up here. Extra chest hidden away. I can see one of those heavy mines dropped over there. 
heavy damage mine, should I call them, whatever. Okay. Normally this area is chock a block with chests, but I'm not really seeing anything. Okay, I can see one thing over there. Quickly check up here. There's one over here. One. That's a turret. Why is the turrets everywhere? God damn it. Right. Whip is also quite nice, actually. More speed. More ability to run around like a madman. Okay. How do we get up here again? I don't actually know. Is it best to just go up this and try and jump across? I don't... How do we get up here? Is there a normal way up there? I don't know if there is. I'm going to have to try and sneak across somewhere. I don't know where. Here, I guess? We're so fast now as well. This is really good. I love jumping with Wax Quail like that. It's so fun. Okay, grab that. Okay, I'm going to leave that because now we get the bonus for, the, for failing. There we go. We did it. What we got here? Another... No! Oh my god. Oh, there's a fucking path up here. Dunce. I'm going to take the random here. Ooh, is that an equipment drone? I'll take an equipment drone. Oh, no, it's an incinerator drone. Okay, we killed all of these pretty quick. Right, now we just gotta find the teleporter. So, from what I know, there's two teleporters you can take. Um, with this, there's, there's the normal one, and there's the one that finishes the level and, like, takes you to the boss. I don't know. There's that one. I don't know where the normal one is. I've not seen it. Like, where is the normal teleporter? Unless I'm thinking wrong. Like, unless that's not how it works. But I thought it was. I thought there was two teleporters on the stage. But maybe I'm... Maybe I'm thinking of something else, possibly. Because last time I went and used that one, it just took me to fight the, uh, the boss, which I don't really want to fight. I want to go endless, baby. I want to keep this party rolling. But, at the same time, I don't see any way to do that right now. Like, we're all the way at the top up here. We should be able to see it if it's anywhere near here. Boom, 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 boom. Whoa! Oh, that still hit! That was beautiful. Yeah, we should be able to see it if we're up here, shouldn't we? Hmm. Maybe we've got to take this to get away i don't know oh pod hello nope i do not want to replace my primary attack with anything please please and thank you let's grab this um i think i think we just got to go and use the normal teleporter right i don't know i haven't played this game in a while things confuse me let's go have a little look around shall we Let's jump down here, see what's, go see what's going on down here. Damn. Okay, I can't make that. I most certainly cannot make that. Wait, how do I get back up? I'm confused. Boy Okay, that's how I get back up. Right. I guess we'll just go to the teleporter then. Not much else we can do. God damn, our AoE damage now is, is kicking it. It's great. Loving it. Let's go to the teleporter. Activate this bad boy. Why not? If I have to fight the boss, though, I don't really want to fight the boss. I fought him before. I don't think he's a very fun fight, in my opinion. I'd rather not fight him again. It takes far too long. Okay, that's one worm dead already. God damn, that's quick. I'm taking out these primarily because they can just leave so many hazards on the floor. 
Why are you all the way over there, dude? What are you doing? Get over here. We got our item. We got 56 leaf clover. Elite mobs have a chance of dropping items. That sounds great. That sounds really great. Right, good, good. Take out all of y'all. So maybe I can take the, the portal and go to a different area. If I take the blue portal instead. I'm hoping that's what I can do. Otherwise, I, I really don't know. Okay, so go into the blue portal instead. And hopefully I can go to a new area. Take me. Take me away. Into the hidden bazaar realm. Hello, Mr. Lizard Man. We got another jetpack here, but this time it's rare. Interesting, two different jetpacks. Um, lost doll. It's annoying that you can't see what these are before taking them. Let's, let's check that. Harm yourself to damage an enemy. No thanks. Um, we can get a uke for three white items. Let's do it. Yeah, that, that, there were three that I'm fine with. In fact, let's go for one more. Yep, there were three I'm also fine with. Okay, that's good. Um, and let's go. Let's have a dream. And we'll be on our way. And hope this run continues. I don't know if it will. But we'll hope. No, I always forget that you've got to actually interact with the portal. I was just fucking zooming past it. So we'll see. This might take us to the boss. No, it did not. Okay, good. Well, what the hell? Is that a Malachite enemy straight off the bat? I think it is, isn't it? Yes, it is. Stand back, fiend. I love how fact that you can knock these back. There you go, got it. Got it. There's another one over there as well. Let's take you out first, because you're a pesky nuisance. Also, the ukulele now is going to be a good main source of damage for us. Uh, 3D printer here for cautious slug. No thanks. There's another Malachi enemy down below, but let's try and find items first. I love it when you get when you get to the point where you've just got so much speed. It makes the game so much more fun. Sun grenade, not super good, not terrible either. I'm not going to complain about it. Kind of hefty damage there. Okay, so what's the Malachite enemy here? It's, the, it's you, okay. Oh, there's more. Oh, there's more. It should be dead now, that one at least. There you go, got him. There's more. Right, let's go this way. Stay away from that enemy for now. 46% crit chance. That's pretty good. Three ukuleles and a dream. Our incinerator drone's actually doing great. Like, considering. Look at its health. Bye. I don't know if that enemy even died. I just kind of ran away from it and hoped. <laughs> okay, we got Paul's goat hoof there. Got a chest here. Retaliate on heavy damage. Not terrible. Um, let's take the health regen. We've been doing good on health regen recently. Not much real estate here to, to play at. Very little amount of chests, considering. Grab that. What's this? Randomly creates water powerful. Nah, because there's just too many enemies now. They're all going to be in the wards. It's going to end up hurting us more than it helps. Right, let's try and take on some Malachite guys. Why not? Is that that's one of them there? Hello. Oh damn, that hit me hard. I didn't notice he was so close to me. Okay, the R ability is the way to go with these with these dudes. I think we got him. I don't know what that is. I've not seen that before. 
Lots of new things. Or at least things that I haven't seen ever. Right. Let's go. Um, maybe wait for our ability to, to come up now. We should do it before our enemies spawn. Oh, really? Stone Titans. Whoa. Whoa, my God. Okay, one minute. I've got a hair stuck on me, and it's 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 annoying the hell out of me. It's distracting me from my peak level gameplay. Okay, let's proc that. Okay, so that's two of them gone. This guy should be pretty pretty follow up, uh, pretty soon after to follow, and he was. Extra crit attack speed, nice. Attack speed isn't super necessary on this guy, but it it does help a bit. I love how fast the teleporter charges in these later stages because there's just so many enemies to kill. <laughs> it kills those so quick. It's great. That our ability just insta-kills them. It knocks them back into walls and stuff. Knocks them back hard. Nice. And we've just got so much, like, chain, uh, chain damage right now. Good. Let's go. We keep going. Going good. Up to 51% crit chance now. I don't know what's increasing our crit chance, but I'll take it. Bye. Away you go. Bye. <laughs> I love doing that. He will come back eventually, but it'll take him a little while. Oh, you come around the wrong, wrong side of the mountain, fella. Boom. Away you go again. Damn, yeah, missed with that one. Okay. A few of these guys around. Ow, they hit me kind of hard, actually. Oh, hello. You made your way back. Right, let's zoom off. We've got quite a lot of money now. Should be able to spend a little bit of it around here somewhere. Oh, hello. Here's the big boy. The big lassie. Drones are equipped with explosive weaponry. That sounds kind of cool. Not had that before. More health regen. Yeah, more health regen seems good to me. Now, I'm just kind of hoping for ukulele procs here. Um, got here. Okay, two bustling funguses or random. Random for gasoline. Gasoline's great. I do love me some gasoline. Not really bothered about that wandering vagrant for now. I'm going to kind of leave him be while I look for items. On my eternal search for chesties. Gimme, gimme. So now our teleporter's here, that's great. I remember before they added the little particle effects on teleporters, like, way back in early access. God damn, this stage, it was so hard to find the teleporter sometimes, and it could spawn, like, inside walls and stuff. It was horrible. You have bought me a chest, thank you. More XP. Really don't need the extra XP at this point, do we? I can hear a Malachite guy, there he is. Uh, I probably want to take out the Malachite guy first. Really? Do you do that much damage to me? He should be pretty much dead now. There we go. Whoa! Extra chest here that I didn't see. That's fine. Right. Let everything do its thing. Our drone seems to be taking care of a lot of the riffraff, which is great. Also, this gunner drone is going to be explosive now, which sounds pretty good. Regenerate health while sprinting. Lots of regen here. That's kind of nice. I like having lots of regen. And we do have a Malachite guy on the other side of this wall. 
Okay, we've, we've kind of chained all these guys together now. We should probably try and take them out. We're getting a lot of our abilities back really quickly here. I don't know. What's hitting me from behind? It's you, I think. Stop. Oh, it's these guys. There's one of these behind me. These guys can still hit you so hard. Hate being hit by these. Those are iron bell boys. Good. Okay, we just collected a ton of money. Let's go. Let's go shopping. You're chilling over there. Oh, look at that damage. Easy. Knock them into a wall and they just insta die. Great. Still no legendary. Another bandolier though. That's really good. But yeah, still no legendary crate, which is kind of crazy at this point. Oh, that's a second. Sh okay, we can't we can't take any more personal shield generators or it'll mess up our health gate. Got to be careful about that. Bit more speed. Why not? And then is there anything else we can get on the stage? I didn't see much else. Let's do another quick rush around. Vagrant's chilling. Va ah, I fell off. Vagrant do be chilling. He's allowed to chill though. We have this chance shrine over here that we can we can use a few times. Fuel cell's great. And ooh. Yeah, I'll take that. We can now unlock chests around us for free. Look at that combo. Right, let's go do our teleporter. We do have a, another chest here. Probably don't want any other active items at this point. The 14 seconds hitting any to cause him to drop gold. Mm, that's not great for us, honestly. Free chest seems better to me. It's free real estate. Oh, the freezing... The freezing fields. I'm going to take out you as well before I start it. I don't want anything freezing me upon it. Turning this on. More stone titans. One of them's up top as well, which is not good. Ah, we might die here. I think we're, I think we're dead. Oh no, we're, we're, we're okay. Him being up top's kind of a pain in the ass. I will say that. Okay, all of them are a problem. I'm trying to get as close to him as possible just to get that massive burst damage. Also, it's going to AoE into other enemies. There we go, we got him. One last guy. Don't hit me, guys. I don't need your bells at this point. For whom the bells toll, not me. Okay, I'm going to just quickly rush away and come back and get on this guy's level. It's just a lot easier to kill from up close. I mean, look at that best damage we got on him then. Okay, cool. Hey, another one of these is great. We get 52 regen while we're sprinting, I think. Pretty good. Grab you. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. And this should be teleporter complete. Indeed it is. Let's go. Let's go indeed. But yeah, now we have an, uh, an active that lets us just open chests that are nearby. So if we find a cluster of like two or three chests, it's worth just opening it with this to save some money. I mean, like this. We got ourselves drop a poison mine when taking heavy damage. Okay, we've got a lot of on heavy damage stuff going on right now. Quite a lot. Right, let's, let's quickly go up on top of this, actually. Uh, should we run down here? Nah. Nothing going on over there. Ain't nothing going on. Go this way. Boom, boom, boom. Is that our lock boss? Yes, it is. More hot sauce. Oh, damn. I accidentally killed a bunch of stuff over there. Didn't even mean to. Okay, check up here real quick. But yeah, whenever there's that many chests nearby, it's super easy to just get a bunch of them. Like, just two in a row. Especially when one of them's a bigger chest as well. Hey, Claire Dune Strider, how you doing? How you doing, fella? Hey, buddy. Polly want a cracker? 
I jump over here real quick. No chests here. Hmm, okay. We're going to probably find another few groups of chests then around this area. Just because there's not a lot over there. Found our teleporter as well. Good timing. Hello, big imp. We got ourselves every 15 seconds get a buff that grants extra armor, regeneration, or attack speed. Sounds good. I'm going to leave you be for now, guys. I don't need money anymore. Money's for the weak. One moment. Okay, we are back. Oh, I'm getting hit straight away. Malachite guy right here. Oh, hello. That's a, that's a bit of a beefy Malachite boy. Save that. Nope, don't hit me. Oh, this is kind of tricky. This guy's kind of tricky. Go away, Malachite boy. I think I got him. I think I got him. Oh, yes. Get another bandolier. I kind of need bandoliers, really. Oh, no. Wow. That that bleed ins was insane. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, that was a pretty hectic episode. And we did get quite far. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.